Hi, I'm Dan Votto and I own the SLG Art Boutique in downtown San Jose. We're the home of SLG Publishing, San Jose's only uh, graphic novel and comics publisher. This is our 25th anniversary of publishing and our second anniversary of owning a gallery in downtown and being part of the downtown scene. We're fairly active, we're re very active in uh, South First Fridays, which is the monthly art crawl in, uh, in downtown. It happens, obviously, on the first Friday of every month. Uh, all the galleries, or most of the galleries in downtown stay open late. All of them have some sort of entertainment going on. Most of them are opening a show for the first time, uh, and it's an amazing event. A couple thousand people will come out. A few hundred people will make their way down to our end of First Street, which is somewhat remote, and I think that's uh, a great testament to the people who come out, the people who organize the event, and, uh, and a nice thing to sort of statement about our place is that it's worth the walk down to our end of the street. We're also the organizers of zombie Orama, which is uh, the annual giant zombie crawl in downtown San Jose that takes place in the summer that revolves around showing of, uh, of an out outdoor showing of a movie uh, as part of the Starlight Cinemas that is put on by the San Jose Downtown Association. They show a movie every Wednesday night. The last movie of their summer program is a zombie movie and we organized the crawl. And last year we had 2,000 people to, uh, show up to that event. Referrals are important actually. I've been in business long enough uh, to remember when viral marketing was just referred to as word of mouth uh, and that's how small businesses su uh, succeeded and survived and found new businesses. If a customer comes into your store and is happy and satisfied, they tell someone else and then they'll come. And, and hopefully be happy and satisfied as well. Before there was a term for it, like I said, it was word of mouth advertising. That is the best form of advertising because someone who likes what you do, who uh, is into your product line, uh, enjoys your scene, is gonna have friends who have similar uh, likes and dislikes to, uh, and tastes as they do. So the word of, a, of an individual person is worth far more than any paid advertising. Five businesses, I, I love anybody that's still in business, but <laughs> my, my, uh, my heart goes out to all my fellow downtown uh, small businesses, and they were almost all of the businesses here are run by people who own them or are heavily invested in them. So I would just throw a blanket out there and just say downtown San Jose is my favorite small business because you know there, there are people there here who are uh, sincere about the work that they're doing and trying to make a go of it. To narrow it down a little bit more, um, certainly I would have to take my hats off to the uh, gallery Anno Domini, or AD as they're referred to. Um, there wouldn't be an art scene in San Jose if it weren't for AD, and Sherry and Brian do a great job. They're the ones who organize the, uh, the art walk and uh, take point on getting people out and put on uh, giant festival on the first weekend of June uh, in San Jose called Sub-Zero. That's another great uh, event. Uh, I would also throw a nod out there to the Downtown Association who puts on Music in the Park, which is probably one of the uh, best sort of weekly festivals you could probably get. And they're also the ones who do the Starlight Cinemas, which are, uh, we're revolving, we evolved Zombie Orama off of, and we're also now doing a thing called the ChieverCon, which is going to um, revolve around an outdoor showing of the Big Lebowski in July. Uh, as far as other places in downtown, I, I always try to mention Good Karma Restaurant. I'm a devoted meat eater, and that is a vegan restaurant, and I can honestly tell you that uh, that is a great place to eat, even if you want meat. Not that you're going to get stuff that tastes like meat, but you're going to get food that tastes really good. And the guy who's behind the counter is the guy that owns the place and is very responsive to what, uh, what you want and what you need. Psycho Donuts, same thing. Very unique. A lot of spirit. A lot of, uh, a lot of imagination. And just something that there's not enough of, you know, in business in the valley in general where everything is a chain. This is something that has a unique perspective and is part of the community down here. For us, it's about the comics. Um, not just the comics we publish, but the comics we choose to carry. 
Uh, there are enough comic book stores and enough places in in in, uh, in San Jose where you can get the newest issue of Spider-Man that we didn't feel like tossing one more of those places onto the pile was necessarily the smart way to go. So we niche market. We may not have the biggest selection of books and graphic novels in town, but we have a unique selection. And when you come in here, you're going to find something you're not going to find somewhere else. So that, in and of itself, is a unique experience. We build our business around events. So this Saturday, for instance, is Free Comic Book Day. Uh, we'll be giving away both official Free Comic Book Days comics, plus tons of our own comics. We're going to have artists uh, here displaying their work. We're going to have a sidewalk sale. And to top it all off, we're going to have a concert in our warehouse. Four bands are going to play. Uh, and we're going to take that on into the evening. And so it's a unique experience. If you were into comics and you were going around stores on Free Comic Book Day, you know, your, your experience is going to be limited to picking up the free comics and then maybe buying a sale item or two. And you come in here, you're going to be entertained. And that's what we try to do. We're, we're not here to be your everyday comic book store. We're here to be the place where you come for something unique.